Hi, my name is Ross, and you're watching a potentially controversial Totally Trending. So before I got onto the trends, let me just inform you that our new Wednesday is starting tomorrow, and I'm very excited. I'm not going to tell you what country he's going to be representing, but I think it's going to be quite interesting from now on. So let's just start with what's been pretty popular over Twitter the last couple of days, and that is Beads stay out of Peru. Now apparently some Peruvian person sent him death threats, and all of the believers are getting their knickers in a twist about it. But I thought it was really common for a celebrity to get death threats. Especially someone who creates such polarising opinions like Justin Bieber. But anyway, I'd just like to read out a tweet that I read that, that I thought was quite poignant. And it was, Over 700 Americans have been arrested in New York City so far, and I doubt any of them were bankers, but it's cool. Beeb stay out of Peru is trending. I just feel that sometimes on Twitter, people don't give a shit about the important things about what's happening in the world. And when there's massive things like what I've just mentioned going on, it doesn't even trend. And half the top trends seem to be just about boy bands. I just think it's a shame that Twitter's not used to have more grown-up discuss discussions sometimes. And what I'm going to talk about next really highlights this. And that has to do with the explosion of tweets regarding the whole Meredith Kircher, Amanda Knox murder trial, which got appealed last night in Italy and... Amanda Knox was set free. Now the problem I have with this, and you might have guessed this from my tweets last night, is that no one knows what really happened that night. There's no definite answer as to who killed her. And people have already idolised this person who was convicted of murder, and although she's free now, according to the law she's innocent, but no one knows what really happened. And for people to go on about like calling her Foxy Noxy and just being blindly patriotic just because she was American that she got released, is not only disrespectful to the family of the murdered victim, but also really, but also really, I want to say naive, but it's just ignorance on a subject that people don't know anything about. And I think it's even more sickening that people are going on about how she might get a TV show now and a book deal when she could still have done it. And it just reminds me of the whole O.J. Simpson thing that happened when we were all a lot younger and how he was found guilty and everyone was celebrating and he became even more of a celebrity. And But anyway, that's enough from me. I'll see you next week. If you disagree with what I've said, feel free to comment because as you can tell, I'm quite passionate and I like to have discussions about these things. So I'm sure the rest of the week on Totally Trending will be a lot more lighthearted and I really look forward to seeing what our new Wednesday is going to bring to the table. See ya.